What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to get the ID from the row you just entered with a Postgres database with a PDO. Now since it's a PDO, it don't really matter what database it is. They're usually pretty much the same. But uh, this return ID is actually the thing we want to add to the end of it. And this method right here, or function if you want to call it, is the one we want to run against the database connection, which is right there. For the PDO, we're actually running the uh, database connection. We're preparing the SQL statement. And then after we uh, have it prepared, we're executing it with the insert set, which is this array right here. These are my database columns, and this is the information I'm about to put into it, which I got from my super globals here. And uh, right here for the column string, I just add the uh, the for each loop because I'm only getting the key back out, and I'm generating this column string down here. Now let's see that in action. Here's my form. If I submit it, that's my array. And this is how it looks when it actually prints out the, uh, this is what it's actually sending to the database on the prepared statement. And for instance, the submit a username and colon submit a username is the name usage of the array. You can also do a positioner with a question mark, but I like to use this method. But see, we see here the uh, request ID is 61. If we look in our database and refresh that, and then ID 61, and we have our new entry. Now, the way to use it without a PDO is much the same. It's just using a regular SQL where we have to actually specify our column names, what we want to go into those columns, and returning ID. And here we actually do a, P, a PG fetch row because it's a Postgres database. And we're naming it through the request ID, position of zero. And that's how we get it that way. Now for PDO, one note is if you want the error message just to display, you got to set the attribute for it. And let me show you what that looks like. If you uh, change this, this is the array we're in entering. But if we want to enter like a different array, say the super global, uh, the post, we uh, actually want the whole thing. And to echo that out, we're going to uncomment that. I like to leave these in my files for testing purposes. And then we simply refresh. And we see the error message. Because the first thing it hits is this my row, and there's not actually a, a column name my row. It's up here in the post we're actually sending out, and in the uh, PDO, uh, in the script itself. I'm actually taking that information and doing other things with it. So that's why uh, I'm not using the post with that. However, you can do that if you got a simple enough form where everything you're posting is going to it. And that's pretty much it on returning IDs and maybe a little bit more.